sparkle picnic Hold me tightly Sparkle picnic I love you Sparkle picnic Knuckles sandwich Mosquitoes Scary ants Sparkle picnic Sparkle Picnic Show. I don't even know what we're doing. We don't. None of our none of our past guests want to come back. Joel won't come on because I insulted his poetry. And Elliot won't come on because I made fun of his jokes. Phil apparently doesn't know who I am. And both Ryan and Steve tried to kill me. So. There's no one left. There's no one left. Ben? Ben, do you want to be my guest tonight? No. Please, I need you. No, I don't want anybody to know that I do this. You know, Ben isn't even my real name. Whatever. Cheer up, Jason. I still love you, buddy. You do? Of course I do. Do you want to be my guest tonight? Do I? Well, how about that? All right, uh, watch this clip of a Sparkle Picnic episode, and we'll be back for an interview with Music Boy Ashton. And we're back here with Mr. Miller in the final round. He's decided to bet it all. Are you ready, Mr. Miller? I am, Don. I'm ready for the big money. I got a honeymoon to go on. Okay. Question one. Do you ever rub feces on your nipples while you're watching your children sleep? No. Oh, looks like someone's telling a fib. No, I'm, I'm not. Come now, Mr. Miller, the machine doesn't lie. I, I, I guess I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, next question. Do you ever eat vanilla ice cream? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Ding! Next question. Do you love bratwurst? I do, I do love bratwurst. Do you love them because you like to pretend they're a giant brown cock? No. I'm not finished. A giant brown cock smothered in mustard No! Relish? No! What the fuck, man? What the calm fuck down, is Mr. this? Calm down, Mr. Miller. Calm down. No, no. What the fuck is this show, man? You're an asshole, Don. An asshole. Your parents must be proud, Mr. Miller. Raising a quitter. Go fuck yourself, Don. That was the worst night of my life. Mm. I gotta tell you though, this Steve's a lady killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lady killer. <laughs> you have chosen to remove $50. That's right. I am buying a bag of weed. You have admitted to criminal activity. The police will be here shortly. Well, we didn't have a guest tonight, so trusty music boy Ashton's stepping in. Great to be here, Jason. Great to have you, Ashton. So what do we have here? Well, we have a common everyday belt. Okay. And a lemon. Nice. And you're going to take us step by step through autoerotic asphyxiation? That is correct. Step one is to become aroused. And once you're aroused? Well, then you take this here belt, tightly fasten it around your neck so as to cut off blood flow to the brain. Well, what do you do with the other end of the belt? Well, you either find a ceiling fan or a closet works very well. Take a coat rack, tie the other end in a knot tightly around the rack. Okay. And lean into it very tightly. This is when you start masturbating and the fun begins. Now isn't that dangerous? Very. Now say you're masturbating, right? 
got this belt around your neck. Not much blood going to the brain or oxygen coming in. That can go downhill pretty quickly, if you ask me. Yes! I suspect you could lose consciousness and the belt would cut off your air. Right. That's a very real risk. So how do you avoid death? The lemon. The lemon? The lemon. You take half a slice of this, put it in your mouth, and bite down during climax. Orgasm? That's right. No harm and no foul. And at the very end of the day, you've had the best orgasm of your life. That sounds great! You want to give it a try? Yeah! Hydraulic power unit path started. T minus 21 seconds in the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. Can I help you, Mike? 15 seconds. I'm training. Training. Yeah. Nine, eight. Last night, the Norse god Odin came to me in a dream. He told me to awake, to prepare for great tests of my strength and intelligence. He told me that times ahead would be fraught with peril, but not to worry, because I would be assured a place in Valhalla. I called my dad and told him about the dream. I told him about Odin, his great flowing beard that tickled my neck, and his promise of Valhalla. He told me, I'm going to war. So yeah, I'm preparing for war. <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable. You know, while you're at it, you should probably take your grandma's doilies off the kitchen wall. It kind of takes away from the stud factor around here, Norse or otherwise. Watch ya! Jesus Christ, I'm hungry. Hankering for some cheese. Boy, need a whole cake. Hey man, 1639? Hey, you uh, you wanna say anything different about me? I grew a mustache! Looks nice? Yeah! Yeah, why not? So it'll be 1639 for that. I don't, I don't know why I ordered all this food. It's, it's just me, I'm the only one here. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna eat it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a conundrum. Yeah, I, I really wish there was somebody that would Come inside and eat with me. Yeah, um, so are you gonna pay me or should I go or? There you go, 17 bucks. Thanks. Sure you're not hungry at all? What is that music? What? What is that? Oh, I hope it's not mating season. I'm here to sell you a kayak. This is a great place you got here, buddy. Thanks. What are you doing in my house? I'm doing business with you. You want a kayak? I'm here to sell one to you. I don't really so want So what kind a of a kayak. kayak were you thinking? We have whitewater kayaks, inflatable kayaks, double kayaks. I guess I don't really have any specific... How about a lamb kayak? A lamb kayak? Oh yes, a lamb kayak. What's a lamb kayak? Well, that's a kayak made out of lamb. Now, we have many varieties available. Most of them are just a standard kayak, but forged with lamb's wool, lamb skin, and lamb's blood. Lamb's blood? Don't worry, sir. It's only for effect. Yeah, but it's the blood of an actual lamb? Trust me, sir, you do not want to see a bloodless lamb kayak. Doesn't look right, doesn't feel right. But as I was saying, for a small additional fee, I can get you a lamb kayak that is actually in the shape of a lamb. Would you be interested in that? and it's made from an actual lamb. Oh yes, absolutely, 100% authentic lamb. I have a picture of it if you'd like to see. 
Okay, that's just a guy riding a dead lamb. How dare you, sir? That is not just a guy riding a dead lamb. You can clearly see that we have hollowed out the dead lamb so you can sit inside of it. And to make sure that it floats, we've attached wooden planks to the dead lamb. Yeah, those planks are just held on with rope, though. Well, how else are you going to put wood on a lamb, sir? It just doesn't look very comfortable. Well, admittedly, a lamb is a very small animal. It's actually much more popular with the younger ones. It makes a great gift for children. Do you have any children, sir? No. And if I did, I would never buy them a lamb kayak. Well, that's what you're saying now, but... Um, I really want you to leave. I'm not leaving until you buy a kayak. All right, um, don't you have any, like, standard type kayaks, like the polyethylene kayaks, or? Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't sell those. Well, just sign me up for whatever's closest to that. Okay, that will be one lamb kayak. How is that even close? Look, man, all we sell is lamb kayaks. Well, then I want you to get out of here. Well, I'm not leaving until you buy a lamb kayak. Well, then I'm going to call the police. Well, I wouldn't do that, sir. Oh, really? Why not? Cause I'll make a kayak out of you. This town is full of creeps. I hate this creep town. I hate this creepy town. You should learn forward more. Uh, you, you got the lemon ready? Uh, Whoa, your eyes are bouncing so far out of your head. Uh, Whoa, bite the lemon, you're going under, bite the lemon! Uh, His eyes are filling up with blood. Spark a picnic, I love you. Spark a picnic, hold tightly. Spark a picnic, spark a picnic, have a sandwich, scary ants, mosquitoes out. Spark a picnic, spark a picnic, get appropriate jokes and make it fun of the less fortunate for our amusement and yours. We're going to hell. Spark a picnic. Spock a picnic, spock a picnic, I love you, spock a picnic. <laughs>